So first and first day in the morning we start with an eight drop with ten extra wings. An eight drop is basically eight pieces of each part of the chicken, eight legs, eight thighs, eight wings. My chicken probably is a whole lot larger than other people's chicken. We use like a three pound bird. So basically I'm gonna start with my breasts. Put my own eight breasts up in there first. There's no eggs at all in it. Um, it is a wet batter, and then it's dredged in flour. Mm -hmm. And the people love the wings. They love all the chicken, but they really love the wing stretchers. And why the wing stretchers selling so much, we always got to have extra wings. Okay. I got to make sure the batter get all on the chicken, because if you don't get it on there, it's not going to um, fry right. And the batter got to have to be cold. If it's not cold, it just it don't taste the same. The minute it's uh... The minute it's battered, we like it straight into the deep fryer because it'll get like a cake batter on it if it, if it doesn't, like if it's too wet. And after I do that, I go to the front. All right, let me catch up with you. Uh, I like to cook it between 340, 345. You know, when I, when I get the chicken out the pan, I want to make sure, I don't want to just throw it in the grease because that will cause flour to go in the grease and it'll go down there and it'll burn quicker. What I want to do is, when I get two pieces of chicken in each hand, to get them a tap together and it'll slide. I use the animal vegetable oil. Animal vegetable oil? Mm -hmm. It's a blend. A blend. Mm -hmm. I find um, instead of using like a peanut oil or something like that, the animal fats give it a better flavor. Then I want to space the chicken out of the deep fryer and we'll put everything on top of each other. Right. 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 About how long does it take? 12, well, totally, total, I say about 20 minutes. Uh -huh. About 20 minutes. Even though the time will go off within like 12 minutes, you gotta let it go extra, you know, just to make sure. How do you tell when it's done? Most of the time when the chicken floats to the top, you know, when it's floating, when it's at the bottom, it lets you know it's not fully cooked. And once you see it start popping up, floating, it lets you know it's just about done. Whose recipe is this? This is my recipe. I made it years and years ago. And what were you going for? What was your thing? Um, not a real spicy chicken because uh, other restaurants have spicy chicken. I wanted to kind of in between. I didn't want a real mild or a real spicy. I'm in the middle of the road. Middle of the road on uh, General Myers. And right, right in the middle of the road on General Myers. That's correct. <laughs> well, I love cooking, so I've been raised up around a lot of people that cook. So. But how I learned how to do this here, just from working here for so many years. And, and how long have you been in business? 32 years. How about that? Something I've always wanted to own is my own restaurant. Uh -huh. And uh, this came up for sale years and years ago, and I jumped in. So who is Chubby? I am. You well, <laughs> uh, I gained a lot of weight with open place. <laughs> <laughs> we run it ourselves. We hear all the time. These tiles. These tiles. I walk them up and down. <laughs> um, algae has been really good to us. Got good, great customers. 